someone said to me this week, you know, like one of the scariest verses in the scriptures is that verse where it says, depart from me, I never knew you. Yeah, but, but didn't, I, didn't I work on the altar guild and didn't I get the water for the priest and didn't I dress the flowers up and put all the lilies on Easter in front and make sure and I had bad allergies and I withstood the whole thing so that the place was nice and I vacuumed the carpet and I called the steamer and said, make sure it... None of it matters if you don't know Jesus Christ personally and allow the love that came from that cross to be infused into your spirit. Paul said, if I had the faith to move mountains and I even gave my body to be burned, but I didn't have love, agape love, the love that Jesus said to love, with, to love one another. I am, he didn't, he said, I am nothing except a clanging gong and sounding brass. If you deny him, he will deny you. And maybe I'm preaching to the choir, and maybe there's not a person in this room that would ever deny him continually. But maybe there's a person in this room that you know you need Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit's bringing that conviction to you right now, or you're watching online, and you know you need the Lord. We are here for you. Just put it right into that correspondence right now. Just say, I am ready to be saved. We will contact you. We will pray with you. You just knowing that you're ready to be saved means you probably are saved even in the hearing of this, believing in him, trusting in him. What? The gospel that he died on the cross for your sins and in your place. And he rose again and he is coming again. If you're watching this, be encouraged. If you're here, be encouraged and come see me because there's no greater joy for a pastor that's genuine to the gospel than to hear someone has been infused with the love of Jesus Christ and has experienced the transformation that comes from knowing Jesus.